Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish Football got its start in 1893 when Cornelius Kennedy and Bob Brady purchased a book by Amos Alonzo Stagg and after studying the game of football put together a team that challenged St. Ignatius to a game that was played on St. Patrick's Day at 8th and Market Streets in San Francisco. The Irish won 14-4. This rugby football match consisted of three touchdowns of four points each and two extra points by the Irish. SI scored one TD for their four-point touchdown. Not only did this set the tone for the then Sacred Heart College as the first prep team west of the Rockies, it also established the oldest Catholic football rivalry in the United States. Kennedy also coached both teams at the time. The Irish played one more known game in 1893 against St. Mary's College and lost 36 to nothing. After an 1894 and 1896 game with SI, Sacred Heart didn't start playing football again until 1916 although an effort was made to start a rugby team in 1910. The Irish played a handful of games in 1917, winning one, tying another, and they even defeated a city all-star team 13-6. SHC dropped football for the 1918 season due to World War I and a lack of players. The first ever American Rules football game was played against Commerce in 1919. And in their first American Rules football game versus SI, the Irish tied them 6-6. Six 1920s six. saw the Irish get its first shot at a championship by playing one game versus Lick and losing 35-6. This was the one and only SFAL football game played while the other teams were still playing rugby. Other highlights of the 1920s saw Sacred Heart beat SI 13 to nothing on Thanksgiving Day, and the students paraded around a black casket with white SI letters on it while a band played. I don't think that would go over too well these days. In 1925, the Irish had their first ever unbeaten league record at 5-0-1, but due to an ineligible player, the championship game due to be played against Lick was never played, and the SFAL awarded Lick the title while rebuffing Sacred Heart's efforts to reinstate the player. An exhibition game was also called off and couldn't be sanctioned. The 1930s were the most unsuccessful of all for the Irish, as they won only 11 games on the decade, six of them in 1931 alone under coach Alan Drady. In 1934, Sacred Heart scored its lone touchdown against Jefferson in the final minute of the last game of the year, scoring their first touchdown in nine games. Outside of a memorable 7-0 upset of Lowell in 1935, the Irish did not score in double digits from the 1932 through 1939 seasons. The 1940s were a different story, as the Irish started off the decade with a 10-0 shutout of SI, pulled off the most monumental upset in Bay Area prep football history with a 13-12 victory over Powerhouse Polytechnic in 1942, boasted a seven-game winning streak, and were at one time rated number one in Northern California in 1947 before losing to Polytechnic in the AAA playoffs. The 1950s saw little success until the 1957 season rolled around, where the Irish were awarded a co-championship at the AAA by winning the round robin with a 6-1-1 record before losing to Balboa in the first round of the playoffs. The decade of the 1960s saw Sacred Heart with no championships, but they were very productive, sending many players to the all-league list and being ranked as high as number 11 in Northern California. The Irish also won more games during this decade than any other with 48 wins, with the 2000s teams coming close at 47. The 1970s were about as successful as the 1960s weren't. As the Irish joined the WCAL, they managed three league wins in 1971, including a 14-6 victory over SI and a 7-0 win over defending champion Mitty. But after a 33-26 win over Sarah, Sacred Heart went downhill from there as coach Steve Ellison and his assistant Mike Holmgren couldn't buy a win and kept thinking they would pull off the next big upset by scheduling stronger teams. For 24 straight games, that strategy didn't work until they defeated Piedmont Hills 13-10 in 1974, with the student body vowing that an 0-10 season would never happen again. The Irish broke a 16-game league losing streak by shutting out Reardon 13-0 at the original Keysar Stadium. 
Sacred Heart spent the next six seasons not winning a league game, but in 1979 did set some notable accomplishments with their first 0-0 tie since 1959. That game was against SI, and they had the second worst league point total in their history with three points scored on a 44-yard field goal against Reardon. The 1980s saw little success, but some bright spots were in 1981, when their team tied SI 16-16 and won five games on the season, as well as in 1982, a team that won six games. These teams featured future NFL stars Joe Peterson and Kevin Gogan. The 1987 and 1988 teams hold the distinction of defeating SI two games in a row. The 1988 team winning 19-14 in the last varsity football game that was played in original Kezar Stadium. The very last event in this stadium before demolition and rebuilding was a frosh game between Sacred Heart Cathedral and Midi. From 1989 to 2007, SHC played an independent schedule in order to revitalize the program and bring it back to respectability. Coach Frank Lee led the team to a steady improvement from two wins in 1990 to eight wins in 1994, which included an upset of East Bay Power San Ramon Valley. From 1995 to 2003, Phil Freed led the Irish to two straight undefeated seasons in 1996 and 1997, including a 15-game winning streak, a 20-game unbeaten streak, and a 14-6 upset win over Bellarmine. Mission accomplished. The 2000s saw varying degrees of success, most notably in 2008, where the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish made its triumphant return to the WCAL by defeating St. Francis for the first time in school history. They racked up a win over San Jose Power Valley Christian, swept the CCS Small School Division in the playoffs, and taking home the first outright championship in the school's history. In 2011, SHC set a national record on any level of football with five defensive touchdowns in their game against St. Mary's of Berkeley. Go Irish indeed! Yeah. <laughs>